here at the Jim Beam Bourbon Tasting. It's a special media event. Um, Davo, 10 past 6. Hey, but it's not looking good for the organisers of this event. Um, you know, the, the function's been on for 10 minutes and still got empty seats. It might have been quiet then, but for us it was the start of something big. We were men with a plan, and that plan was to find out just how big a party Kentucky could throw during the World Equestrian Games. And despite humble beginnings in this almost deserted tent, at least we knew that things could only improve. And with bourbon on the menu, it didn't take long for things to start heating up. Fred Booker No. the third is the master distiller at Jim Beam, and as he said, When you're Jim Beam's great grandson, that's right. bourbon's flowing through your veins. Which is why I think Fred was trying to be polite when he answered this question. Have yes, you ever tasted I've, Bundaberg rum? Yes, I have. And what do you think of Bundaberg rum? It's an interesting product, a little different than bourbon. We hadn't even started drinking yet, but Dave was already confused. All right, Jim, and what's your, what's, what's, uh, Fred, sorry, what's... With the wheels already falling off this operation, it was time to start tasting. To taste bourbon properly, you need to practice the Kentucky Chew. And while Fred is an old pro, Abe and I are still working on our style. This is a... Very easy to drink bourbon. Sometimes in life, you've got to be honest with yourself. Here's the tip. But then just I don't even the like flavor bourbon. it leaves behind there. And sometimes, you've just got to lie. You okay? That's, that's good, yeah. That's good. No, no. But it didn't take long before we were right in the swing of things. Where Dave's from. I'll tell you what, hey, mate, all's not been lost, mate. What an afternoon. Well, mate, an afternoon with Fred Booker No. the third, seventh generation Jim Beam distiller. Could you meet a more impressive man? Mate, we ended up with a few free bottles of Jim Beam, personally signed by Fred himself. Amazing afternoon. What I can't understand though, hey, mate, how come every time we go and drink, you always end up drinking fewer drinks than me? Hey. And, mate, I'll tell you what, at a Jim Bean uh, tasting function, that's a very important thing. Just remember, Dave, equestrian in Australia really does encourage the responsible drinking of alcohol. I have that in my mind all the time. <laughs> of course, by now, Dave and I were in no state to drive, so we were forced to reverse our normal roles for our journey into Lexington. Good opportunity to introduce Andrew Blow, our cameraman, producer. It was probably our fault, but in this part of the world, it pays to be on your guard as certain things can be lost in translation. Well, hey mate, here we are, mate. Uh, burger and chips, what do you reckon? There we go. Bit of a language difficulty here. We ordered chips, and we got chips. <laughs> A little bit disappointed, a little bit disappointed. to reorder the fries. Out on the streets of Lexington, we quickly discovered where all the other equestrian journalists were hiding. Lexington was at its absolute hiding best. And everyone in town was pretty stoked to letting their hair down. There was no point standing on the outside, so Dave and I entered the fray. Let's hit it. Let's go. Who that? Dave managed to find a friend. There was no doubt about it, the people of Kentucky were having a ball. This is great! We're loving it! In the end, it seemed that as Australians, we were right at home. Fellas, Lexington, normally a pretty quiet town. How is it during the World Equestrian Games? Oh, it's wild as can be. It's like, I feel like I'm in Australia. I love Hamish and Dave from Australia, Dave! Thank you very much! Center of Lexington, a square, in the middle of limestone and main, and hasn't it been an amazing performance from this jazz band from New Orleans? Anyway, Lexington has put on a serious show here. This is the second night of the World of Crash Games. We are in for some great times here, mate. My God, this has just been phenomenal tonight. And the buzz about the people of Kentucky. I tell you what, I don't know whether they're all horse fans, but I tell you what, this is a better party than anything I've ever been to at a horse show in Australia. Mate, hold on to your hats. We are in for one hell of a ride. Absolutely, Davo. We love you guys. Can you, can we ever have sex with me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey.